Good morning and welcome back to it, guys. Your Thursday edition of the Now Morning Show, where we head to Tobago. And RE Promotions is going to have their annual charity initiative on Monday, the 26th of August. It's happening at the Shore Park Complex from 5 p.m. And while their aim is to provide school items to disadvantaged youth across the island, we're chatting with them this morning to find out a little bit more about the, in the actual initiative and beyond. To have that conversation, Cleon McPherson joins us via Zoom. So good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show, Cleon. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I am good and I'm glad to see that someone is making sure that the back to school journey is a little bit easier for families in Tobago. But I wonder, Definitely. in terms of our promotions, was that the purpose of initially creating the group? Was it always about charity events or perhaps another purpose originally? Well, we actually started in 2012 as a basically a juvie bank. So Ripple Effect Promotions, RE Promotions, is basically an amalgamation of culture, entertainment, and philanthropy. So we started in 2012 as a juvie bank, and well, we actually grew. Um, so we realized that it was our social responsibility to give back and to help communities within Tobago um, in terms of various necessities and also special needs students as well. So we cater to various organizations. In the past, we have catered to uh, Happy Haven, uh, School for the Deaf and the Language Impaired, and we also did children homes as well. So we try to see where we could help uh, the more vulnerable in society. And that's probably why we're at the ninth version of this initiative, because you've continuously been giving back to various groups throughout Tobago. Beautiful to hear. Tell me how this version is going to be executed then, because we start at 5 p.m. at Shore Park. What do we see when we enter? Right. So what we usually do, we collaborate with education, um, student support services, uh, to Ghana, listen in terms of persons that would necessarily need school items. Uh, what we do is a whole program where we have various performances as well as what we do, we have a few feature speakers as well. So we have persons that uh, would talk to the parents, would talk to the, the students as well to, you know, to encourage them, to inspire them and to have them on the right path at the end of the day. Sounds beautiful. It also means that you've already decided on some of the entities that will benefit from this event, yes? Yes, definitely. What we usually do when we get a listing, we usually prepackage the items right. uh, based on age, standard, and obviously gender. So we try to do that, uh, streamline that in a sense. We also do hampers as well. Uh, what we have been doing for the past, well, the past nine years, we also have a Margaret Assistance Fund. So we cater to persons that would have been, you know, uh, wherever it been lost of fire, domestic violence, uh, gun violence, whatever where we, we try to cater to them as well. So not only in terms of school necessities where we give to underprivileged students and special needs, but we try to tend to persons that would have, you know, experienced some, some level of this, discomfort. Right. Really beautiful to have you take the initiative to make that better for persons. But in terms of the distribution itself, I imagine it's an all-hands-on-deck thing. Is it something that you still need volunteers for, perhaps, or continuously still taking donations, or is there a cut-off period? Um, well, we still take donations. What we do um, throughout the year, as we have the Juve event, we, we use that, that from that to... I guess, to buy the various items. So, you know, we'd have certain organizations that would probably wait on, you know, governmental entities to see if they get funding. But we try to take that proactive initiative to do it on our own. And, I mean, if things come our way, then, you know, we're happy and we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But we don't sit down and wait for that to happen. Um, and based on the past, we have, you know, definitely that's a good thing to do because we, we have in the past that we, we, we did it all on our own. So... We, we not only do this within the year, we also assist various um, clubs, sports, organizations, but we already know that uh, not only this would uh, help, you know, the, that, that kind of social aspect within mm -hmm. society, but we know in terms of recreation, but uh, get the young persons out, uh, keep them occupied. Mm -hmm. So we, we do a more kind of holistic uh, approach, and hopefully we, we have more many years to come going forward. <laughs> 
I like the optimism. You're definitely year-round for your endeavors altogether. But for this particular event that's happening on the 26th, when would we see distribution to these persons that we've already decided on? Right, so we're looking at that will be next week, Monday on the 26th, that show up out from 5 p.m. So we have a full program carded where we not only have the distribution, we will have uh, feature speakers, we will also have performances as well. And, you know, we always, obviously will give, you know, little various refreshments as well in, in that instance. But we try to, you know, encourage other organizations if they, you know, want to contribute, if they want to come on board, because we realize as a cultural and entertainment entity that I, I believe is our social responsibility to help out, to, to, to see our, our society, especially know how things are going, um, to give that kind of positive light on the nation. Agreed completely. But while the entities can still collaborate with you, if somebody couldn't make it to the event, how can they still contribute? Right, so they can contact us. Uh, there's, uh, we are on uh, Facebook at Ari Promotions, also on Instagram at Ari Promotions. So you could um, WhatsApp us there. Uh, you would see it on the flyer itself. So there's also a number to contact us. And we could see how we could collaborate because they yeah, definitely the whatever various school ice them stationaries would still be welcomed because we always have uh close at the time sometimes you have last minute persons looking for need and it's kind of difficult to tell persons no or shall person i try not to to do that even if it's person in me trying to see how i could assist where we so definitely okay and let me say thank you Genuinely, as a Trinbegonian, that it is beautiful that you're leading the charge, not waiting for anybody, and you have successfully done so for nine years and nine more to come, hopefully. So thank you very much for joining us this morning, and best of luck as everybody heads to Shaw Park Complex on the 26th from 5 p.m. to make sure they are part of RE Promotions initiative to make back to school easier in Tobago. Thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you. Guys, we take a break and come back with entertainment here on the Now Morning Show.